Now tell me what happened. Uh, we was at the barbershop. Um, Not we. You. I was, yes, ma'am. I was at the barbershop waiting to get a haircut. Mr. Williams was cutting people's hair. Um, we stepped outside, had a drink. Me and Who Mr. stepped Williams. outside? Me and Mr. Williams. We had a drink in the back of the barbershop. So your barbershop is full. You went back and you had a drink. What did you drink? Uh, I had a beer. I think he had a margarita or something from next door. So you stepped outside for a while. Yeah, yeah, because we had a conversation. You if you stepped outside, you might have brought a beer with you, but if you had a margarita, then you had to go someplace for a margarita. No, ma'am. Next door, the lady, they, it's a restaurant next door to the barbershop. They literally bring trays of margaritas inside the barbershop. After hours, though. That is it's funny, but it's true. So he took his margarita and went outside with you? Yes, ma'am. And then? Uh, we was talking. You know, I had just moved back to South Carolina. He was telling me how glad he was I was back. You know, bruh, I miss you. You know, then he said, um, listen, man, I got one more head. Let him go before you. So then after that, we could chill. You know, everybody else was in there was friends. So, you know, barbershop like a hangout spot. So let me finish him off and then, you know, you good. I said, okay. He gets back into the barbershop. Um, Mr. Williams, he, he keeps leaving the chair. You know, he only got a line up with this guy, but he keeps leaving to go catch a drink here, yelling out the back door. I mean, there was a lot going on. So we're joking. I'm joking with the guy in the chair, and I'm like, man, come on, man, hurry up and cut this guy's hair, man. Come on, come on. You know, the guy's like, don't rush him on my head. You know, I've been, me and this guy have been coming to the barbershop together. We've been seeing each other inside the barbershop for a while. Don't rush him on my head. You know, we're joking. So he made a, he went to go, Walk again, and I was like, man, come on, man. Cut the man hair over there, look like Patches, which is his stepdad. And, you know, I went back, you know, joking and stuff with the barbershop. I didn't think nothing I said was out the way. Next thing I knew, he came up behind me because we, the chairs were kind of catacorned. So he came up behind me and knocked my, the head off my head and pulled my forehead all the way back, put a straight razor to my neck. And I thought it was a comb because me and him were so close. I thought it was a comb. I thought he was joking. You know, all friends in the barbershop. So I said, man, stop playing, man. So I realized it's a razor. I'm still. You know, I, I sit there, everybody else making a commotion around me. You know, it seemed like things are going in slow motion at that time. People, hey, man, it don't have to come to this. Stop that. It is not that serious, you know. So I feel the razor come off my neck. I get up off the chair, you know, face him. We having an altercation. You know, next thing I know, we're fighting. So then you got into a fight with him. Yes, ma'am. We're, we're fighting. He falls back. Bah! Shoots a shot. He pulls a gun out of his boot, shoots a shot inside the barbershop. People scatter everywhere, you know? Everybody's gone. People are like, oh, you know, trying to separate us. Pulling me out of the barbershop. I yelled out, man, June, call the police, you know? June, I can't find the key. He's pulling me out trying to get the door locked to the barbershop to separate us. You know, me, him, back and forth. Yeah, you do this, I do this. So they got the door locked. Next thing I know, I'm Just standing in the front. Okay. The door is locked. Yes, ma'am. Where are you, outside or inside? Outside the barbershop. And he's inside. Yes, ma'am. Go ahead. All right, next thing I know, he goes out the back door. No, now you're outside. Yes, ma'am. Why aren't you gone? Uh, waiting on the police. I yelled, call the police. I, he just shot at me, Your Honor. Put a razor to my neck. I was shocked. It's a lot going on. Friends was there. Next thing I know, you know, we're fussing through the door. Next. So let me understand this. Yes, ma'am. I'm just trying to understand. So they have the people inside the barbershop. They elect to keep in the barbershop the madman with the straight razor and the gun and lock you out. Mm -hmm. they keeping, These are all They're keeping friends. the crazy. Well, you said you knew them all, too. Yeah, yeah, I know everybody. So they elected to keep and lock in the crazy guy with the gun and the straight razor mm -hmm. and lock you out. I'm just following this. Yes, ma'am. Go ahead. Next thing I know, he comes out the back door with a razor in one hand, and I guess he grabbed the barbecue pork or, you know, the little fork that you flip meat with on the barbecue. He came out the door and he, like head with scissor hands swinging. So here we go. I grabbed the razor with this hand, defense wounds, he cut me open. I have pictures of my cuts and everything. He cut me open and he poked me under my arms, 